Hello, my name is Steve Royce with Crescent Design and I'm here to show you, give you a brief tour and a demo of the smart manifold that's used in conjunction with our hydraulic burst leak tester. So what is the smart manifold? Well, the smart manifold is a, a unit that sits, as you can see, underneath the HBLT and takes pressure from the HBLT and distributes it amongst 10 ports. These ports can be selected individually or in groups or all together and it's connected to the HBLT. So it's the HBLT is actually controlling the smart manifold. So it has 10, indi 10 discrete valves that can be controlled independently inside. So the HBLT is, is determining which ones to use at which time and monitors the pressure on them. Uh, the benefits of using the smart manifold are the increased throughput and the fact that it operates autonomously, uh, unattended. So that allows your personnel to be redirected to other tasks while it's performing these tests automatically. Sometimes they're quite long. Fatigue tests can take a very long time. And the smart manifold, when used with the HBLT, completely automates that process. Um, so why is it smart? Well, it's smart because when a product or products fail, the HBLT and the smart manifold are able to determine which one has failed, remove it from the test, and then resume the test where it failed originally, and until all of the products have failed or until the program number of cycles have been complete. So let's look a little bit at the front here. What do we have? As you can see, we have the uh, individual valves are, or ports are controlled by these uh, touch buttons. I can turn them on and off. Um, we have the, this communications light. This is a blue light, and that indicates that the communications cable has been connected and the two units are, are talking to each other. You'll notice that we have a smart manifold light over here. This just indicates that there's power on the unit. And then in here, later on, when we're, when we're running the test, you'll see later, that these lights indicate that a test is running uh, and that a test is done when one has failed. And then, of course, we have the 10 ports. These use uh, an eighth NPT port. Right now, we have it plumbed with male lures. It could be female lures or it could be some other connection of your choosing. So, um, I think right now we'll... Uh, We'll show you the back. Okay, let's take a look at the back of the HBLT and the, and the hydraulic burst leak tester together here. Uh, this is obviously the HBLT, and here is the smart manifold. You'll notice uh, this uh, RJ485 connector, which is the communications connector, and then we have various connectors here. J1 is the one that is most important for use right now. J2, 3, and 4 are for future expansion. So the first thing we would do is take the communications cable and uh, it is unique and you must use this cable and it is labeled as such. You can see it right here. And we're going to connect it to the expansion port on the HBLT. Now, I don't have a screwdriver with me, but you should go ahead and screw it down, make sure that it doesn't come loose, okay? And then the RJ485 simply connects like so. <laughs> Interesting side note is when you do that and run the HBLT, you will be given access or choices in your tests that are not ordinarily there. That's built into the software, so no one is confused by having menu choices which do not apply to the testing you're doing. So when you hook up the smart manifold, you'll suddenly have access or be presented with choices in the test that are not ordinarily there. Also, we have the power supply. This is the smart manifold power supply. You know, ours happens to be labeled for our demonstration purposes here, but this power supply is universal in that it will work anywhere in the world and it uses a standard IEC cord 
power cord and we supply the appropriate cord for wherever it happens to be used in the world. And then there is the actual power connection to the smart manifold and that's J1 only. And we're going to go ahead and plug that in right here. All right. So um, you'll notice that when I turned on the plug strip, we now have the power light. That indicates that the smart manifold is getting power from the power supply. And then the last thing we do is we go ahead and plug in the HBLT, and we can go ahead and turn that on. Um, you will have seen already that when the communication is, is connected properly, the two are communicating, and this power is connected on the front of the smart manifold that is indicated by the power light and the comm light. And just for further information, you'll notice right here that on the HBLT, this is the printer connector. Uh, later on, you, when we're running the test, you'll see the printer running, and that's because we have it hooked to this printer port here. And then the HBLT serial port uh, is, allows it to be connected to uh, a PC for other features uh, to be used. So we're going to do a test now, a parallel test with the smart manifold. Uh, you'll notice that the gauges, they are analog gauges, and I'm using these to demonstrate so the use of the machine so you can actually see the pressure on the ports as the test is occurring. I've also located them on alternate ports so that you can see that it doesn't matter which port they're on because we're going to select the port that the gauge is connected to. I also know, you also notice that I have a printer connected to the system too. So this is an entire system here that will run the test and record and print the results at the end. So what I've done is I've created a test in the HBLT and we're going to find it here. Um, I'm not going to put the an operator or a lot code in right now. And I've created a test called gauge times three. I'm going to select that. Gives me a brief uh, screen to show me what, what I've selected. I'm going to say OK. Ah, but I didn't select any ports. So let's go ahead and select some ports. In this case, two, four, and six. And I have selected them and I'm saying yes. And you can see the machine is now preparing itself to do the, the test. Now these gauges have stopcocks on it, on them connected to the smart manifold. That made it easy for me to connect. And it also gives me a means for creating a burst and also to use for the fill function. So this is the screen. You've seen this screen before if you've watched the HBLT demo. This is the same screen. The difference here is that now the HBLT is connected to the smart manifold. So you can see it says press to fill. So I'm going to hit start and it started to fill. I'm going to close off the valve that the stopcock on here and it was dripping off screen. Uh, now the unit is preparing itself, the HBLT is preparing itself to do the parallel test. And we should be starting very shortly and you'll be able to see on the gauge as the pressure, pressure increases. So you notice the the target was 120 and it got to 120 and now the gauges are going back down. Right? This is a fatigue test so it's just going to go up and down. It's three cycles. We're going back up to the par target pressure now and when we get to 120 I'm going to create a leak which I've done right here by opening the stopcock. So the system detected a burst, but at this point it doesn't know which port has failed. So it is now going to prepare itself to do what we call the hunt. It's going to hunt for the, the test. So here you notice right now it's testing that port, and that port passed. It's not leaking, so it passed. It's now going to move on to this port, 
and run the same test. And what it's trying to do is pump water into the part, into the gauge. And since this one is not leaking, it succeeds in getting to the target pressure in the right amount of time. It's moving on to this gauge now, which is the one that we created the leak in. Now it's started and it's trying to pump the water and you'll notice that it failed. So this one burst and that would be the same for any product that you might have connected to it. So now the machine has found the burst port. It knew that it had three ports, only three ports selected, and there's still one cycle left to do. So you'll notice now it's going up for the third cycle to 120 for three seconds and then it runs back down and that is the end of the test and the test results are now being printed on the printer over on our right and that's the end of a parallel test and you can see why we call it the smart manifold because it was able to determine which port had failed, stop the test, uh, find the port, and then continue on either until all of the products have failed or until the uh, number of the program number of cycles have complete. We're now going to move on. We're going to change it out and do a sequential burp burst test. We'll show you how that works. Okay, we're now going to run a sequential burst test with the smart manifold in the HBLT. What I've done here is I've created some simulated catheters because Crescent Design doesn't make catheters. It's simply some plastic tubing that I've put some fittings on and I have prepared them same way you would if you were preparing your catheters by uh, removing all the air and replacing it with water. I've also added these little plastic bags to keep myself and our videographer Mark from getting wet during the process here. Uh, in the HBLT, I have created a test called the Burst Green Tube Test. Very creative. I'm going to select that, but as before, I need to select the ports. You'll notice that they're not in, in any order. They could be any order. And now I've selected the ports. Say yes and the test will now run. The HBLT is preparing itself as usual by refilling the cylinder and positioning it properly in, internally. Um, there is no fill sequence on this as I have already prepared the catheters by uh, removing the air and replacing it with water. So here's the standard screen that you're familiar with, the start screen, and we're going to hit start. You'll notice that the HBLT has selected port 2 first, and we're going to hit start. So what happened there was it selected port 2 and it ran it to pressure and it burst. The machine is now preparing itself again for port 2, or port, the second port, and here you see it selected that port after the test, uh, the first one failed, it printed the results. And as in port one, it has failed and turned on the purple light to show that it's failed. The instrument is now preparing itself again, refilling it, preparing it, and will automatically go to the third port to run the uh, burst test on that channel. And what I see is this one burst, burst at 596 and that completes 
the sequential burst test and all of the test results have been printed on the printer. So you've seen now how you can perform a sequential burst test we just did. Prior to that you saw how we did a parallel test uh, as in a fatigue test and you can see how the smart manifold can increase the throughput and productivity with the HBLT. Uh, and you can also see why it is we, why we call it smart. Um, we have other videos available on our website and I invite you to check them out for various features and functions and we have we will have additional ones coming in the future. Thanks very much for uh, watching this video.